Hi, my name is Megan Ross. We're here at Connect 2019. I have Colleen with me. We just got her off the stage from the ACA vote results session, which yes. was very exciting. So Colleen, can you tell us a little bit about what is the vote and how did it get started? Yeah, so the ACA Association about three years ago decided that instead of just listening to the leaders or the board members, why not put it out to the entire ACA community, mm. the Avid Customer Association of over like 30,000 users? Why not go ahead and take the information we get from product management that says, gee, we're thinking about these 20 features. Can you take a look at them and tell us which one you would rank as number one, number two, number three, number four, etc.? And so what we've done, and this is the third annual, we go ahead, we capture all that information from product management, and then we go ahead and get it out to over 30,000 people wow. and they come back and vote on it. Wow. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how does the ACA make it easy for people to vote? Oh, well, what we did is we literally created a personalized URL for every single member of the ACA and sent it to them. So all they did when they clicked it, they went right to a platform. That platform pre-filled all their information because we know who our ACA members are. So everything was there. And then it took about 10 minutes for them to go through. What they did was they just had to figure out which product do I is most important to me. But they could vote on multiple products. So if I use Pro Tools and Nexus, and I'm a Media Composer user, I can vote on all three. If I just want to vote on Media Composer, I can just select Media Composer. And the platform is all online, and basically they go in. The average time people took to vote was less than 10 minutes this year. Oh, wow. So we actually did make that a lot simpler so people it's can vote. It's a lot easier, <laughs> yeah. That was some of the feedback. They said, can you make it a little more easier? And that's what we did this year. So we listened and we executed. Yes, we did. <laughs> um, on that note, so who participated in the vote and then why should someone participate? Yeah, so this year it was great. We had three different types of customers that actually participated. The first and actually the most were those individual creatives, the people who just are kind of the ones who are either freelancers or they're independent TV or film or composers. And they basically are what we call an independent creative. They, they are the individuals that really kind of say, I use this tool for myself and here's what I'm looking for. Then we have the group of what we call professional teams or creative teams. And those are ones that actually work on a team of let's say 20 to 100 people or 20 to 50 or they work in an edit bay with a group of uh, individuals. And they have different requirements because sometimes collaboration is more important to them or how these tools interact with other tools is more important. So what but we want to understand their requirements too and then the third group are these large media enterprises or large organizations you know kind of some of the largest media companies in the world and obviously they use our products too mm -hmm. and it's important to understand what does it mean to a large enterprise and what kinds of features and capabilities do we need to put in to make sure that they're getting what they need as well wow. so <laughs> helping everybody hopefully thank you so much we hope you vote next time